All right, guys, it is that time again. It is time for another Dead by Daylight video. Today is the public test build, and it is the new Ringu chapter. Very surprised that they put this out uh, so soon. I am really excited to play this killer. Uh, if you don't know who this killer is, well, this is obviously Sadako from the Ringu franchise, or Samaro if you watch the American version. Uh, in the game, she's called the Unreal, which is very descriptive of like what kind, type of spirit she is. Uh, this killer is very terrifying to play against and it's very fun to play so yes uh, yeah I definitely want to play a match for you but let me go ahead and explain her power real quick and her perks and then we'll get into a match okay so Sadako's power I'm not gonna read it all but I'm basically gonna explain it to you since I have played her before uh, she is not detected through terror radius uh, and she is also invisible over 32 meters away from survivors once you get closer to survivors they can see you phasing in and out kind of like the spirit or the old Freddy uh, and then she, when she comes out of manifestation, she is fully manifestated and she can be seen and heard. Her terror rates can be heard as well. Uh, her ability, which I just explained, is basically like the race. She can go in and out of manifestation. She can be invisible, turn her terror radius off. She can come out of manifestation. But also she does blink in and out, which does make it harder for you to see where she's at. So she's not completely visible while she's demanifestation. So she does have some mind games when you're looping. Um, her special ability is projecting, which basically projects her through TVs, just like in the films. And then uh, any survivor that's won 16 meters of that will gain a condemned progress. Basically, they get a stack, and they get need to get seven total stacks, just like in the film. Seven days, seven stacks, you will be killed. Well, you can be killed. If you get seven stacks, it'll show on the HUD, and you can go and down the survivor, and then you can insta-kill them with a special Mori they added into the game. Not the actual Mori, but a special like side Mori, kind of like uh, Pyramid Head. Uh, but the way survivors counter this is they go around and they find tapes in the TVs and then they take it to a special TV to basically remove their condemned stat status by spreading Samara or Sadako's message. So it's very thematic to the movie, which I do like a lot. Uh, it isn't particularly that threatening. I have played a survivor and there have been times where people have been, I've been moriable from it, but it's because the, either the match went on too long or the, you know, you were just trying to get killed. But yeah. So that's basically her power. It's not very strong. She's basically just a regular killer, uh, but she does have some mind game potential, which I'll show you. And she is undetectable, which is also nice because I love killers that can jump scare you, and she can definitely jump scare you. So that's her power, her perks. Uh, she has three. One of them is another Scourge Hook, Floods of Rage. Just like in the Pinhead video, there was a Scourge Hook in that one. Basically, you get four wide hooks. You use the hook. If the survivor unhooks from the Scourge Hook, all the other survivors' auras will be revealed for seven seconds. This is basically a reverse barbecue and chili. Uh, if you don't know what that is, basically barbecue and chili, whenever you hook a survivor, you see other survivors' auras for a certain period of time. This one's whenever they unhook that survivor. It's basically so you can see who is near the hook. This could be combined very well with make your choice or any kind of type of availability uh, perk where you need to know where that sur unhooked survivor, survivor who did the unhooking is. So it's definitely a good information perk. This perk I think is going to be very meta because it is basically ruined but without the ability to ruin it or remove it. <laughs> Got it. Uh, so it can be countered but there is a, it's basically a, a, a ruin and surveillance in one perk. So when you kick a generator for 60 seconds you get ruin on that generator. Uh, if a gen is tapped then they will be able to stop the ruin however once they do a good skill check it will make a loud notification as if they pop the gen so you can just get information that they're back on it so it's very good at keeping track of gens but also if they're not on gens you can regress them very fast super powerful perk I think this is gonna be used in a lot of builds and then her other perk uh, isn't that great right now in my opinion but basically whenever you get to 90% of a generator survivors will get a skill check but it'll be continuously spinning around just like the glyph did and you have to hit all each skill check every survivor if you miss a single one or you step off the generator it's blocked for 20 seconds and this is kind of good if you pair it with say tinkerer or something that where you know they're on the gen and they're about to complete it but in my opinion you should just run deadlock or you should just run um dead man switch because it lasts longer anyway and you can force them off the gen so i don't think this is going to be used very much but it is a cool idea and i have seen it on survivor and hopefully when i play survivor uh, you guys will be able to see what it looks like. But yeah, so I'm going to play the uh, ring uh, character Sadako first, or the Anrio, do, uh, and then I'm going to play the survivor, explain the perks, 
and do a match with that so you can see what it's like from both POVs. I also brought a Mori and I brought add-ons to, uh, this add-on basically makes it to where I blink much more or less often uh, whenever I come out of cloak. So it makes it harder for them to see me. And this add-on is very useful. It turns on the last four TVs that I will have projected to because when you project to a TV, it does turn the TV off for like, I think a minute. So this makes it where you're a lot mobile more often. So I do like that a lot. So yeah, you guys will see the killer uh, playthrough or POV next. Uh, as soon as I find a match, it is PTB. It will take a while. And then once I'm done with that, we'll go into Survivor. So I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, guys, we're at Cole Tower. Uh, this is a decent map. I don't know if I'm gonna do very well on it, but Oh my god, that's such a creepy intro to her. So yeah, uh, I don't know how well I'm going to do because, again, this is PTB. There is no MMR, uh, so I might get paired with some really good survivors, but we'll find out. So let's see if we can find the first survivor. Survivors. What are they doing? Why is that generator just floating? Oh, because my distance. <laughs> Alright. Are they just on this one? Yep. Hello there! Alright, let's see how good they are. They seem pretty decent. Got her. She's gonna dead hard to it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. This is a good survivors. This is gonna be a really boring match. I wanted like survivors that get scared. They're not scared. All right, let's see if we can sneak up on her. Go, Kate. Go. Run, girl. Okay, she's actually scared, which is good. <laughs> I don't know if I saw any flashlights. We're about to find out. No. Good. Boil over. I'm glad they nerfed the shit out of this perk, because it was broken. But they definitely got the swaying going with it. All right. First hook. Not bad. Not bad. Could be better. We got our scourge hook, so we can see where they are when they unhook. Let's go ahead and put this, pop this for the brine. Just so we can see uh, the regression value on it. Oh, that window's off. Nice. Alright. Now we know where they are. We got that value. Hi, Michaela. I could tunnel just so I can see the Mori, but if we don't get the Mori, that's fine. I just want to play a normal game. Alright, let's break this shit. Just so they can't have that crap anymore. That's the only thing I need to break, really. Alright. Alright, Cheryl. Also, her attack is fucking badass because you literally see the ring every time you, you attack. I love that. So amazing. <laughs> I did not mean to do that, but that's fine. Alright, we got Cheryl down. I meant to hit her and I just broke the pallet instead like a dumbass. Alright, so as you saw her scourge already, um... I could be pressuring gens more and teleporting out of TVs more, but I just want to like, uh oh, a boon. There's a boon. So this one's mostly completed, so I'll go ahead and kick this one. All right, there's the save. And we'll go through this one. Oh, she's moriable. What the fuck is this loop? It's supposed to be on the other side. The pallet's on the wrong side. That confused me. 
All right, let's see if we can get the uh, the mini Mori on her. It's not great, but it is something. Maybe she wanted to be chased. I don't know. She's going right for that. Uh... Good. We got her to waste it. Now this is very, very weak now. Hi. Where the hell did the uh, Nia go? She can remove that, by the way. Come here, Kate. I want you to see my tapes, Kate. What are you doing? Are you trying to do my gin in front of me? No. I'm going to kick that. Put a little ruin on it. Hook her, go back, and she's probably going to be back on it. She did tap it. Nice. Put the ruin back on it. Oh, you bitch! You did it in my face! Okay, that's death for you. Okay. Let's see if we can mind game her with this. See how I'm phasing in and out, so you don't really all know exactly where I'm at. I thought she stayed. I thought she stayed. I actually thought she stayed. Alright, so I think she's moriable. This is the second hook on her, so the next hook will be a mori. So maybe we can see it? Good thing this is not the boil over one. Oh, and we got a TV right here. That's great. So as soon as they're on the hook, I'm coming out of that TV. Cheryl? Cheryl? I saw you going this way. Where are you going, Cheryl? There's a boon here. Hi. Hi, Kate. Okay, let's go out of this TV. Um, yeah. She ran right to it. Now I can get the Mori, I think. No, she's not Moriable, but she is. She might have DS though. She does. Fuck. All right, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. But now I can t basically tunnel tunnel her out and get the Mori. That's all right. We're doing good. We still got two gins, so let's keep playing for now. I don't want to play like a com complete scumbag. She is basically just an M1 killer, but, um, oh no, you're done. I hear this gin going up here. Oh, damn. Alright. Fuck. Well, I do have no ed, so we can at least get a kill at the end. All right, that gin's almost done, or the next most done, so we'll go kick it. Oh, it's barely even done. All right, so we can definitely Mori one. Hi, Nia. All right, let's go back and get our Mori. She's body blocking. She don't want her to get into the Mori. That's fine. I'm getting a Mori. Sorry. Sorry to tunnel you, but I need that to, to show everybody what it looks like. Okay. Come here. I don't want you to DS me because you know you're gonna. Let's see it. Ah! So gross. Yes. 
Can we talk about how amazing that they added the actual stair in? All right. Uh, let's teleport to which one? This one. Are they at this one? Oh, fuck. Where am I? Oh, they are. All right, Nia. You don't know it, but I have no Ed, so. I'm so fast with no Ed, bitch. I'm fast as fuck, boy. You're not. <laughs> Oh, shit. Alright. Uh, so I'll get two kills. Unless they try to save. Which they could. Nah, they said, fuck this shit, I'm out. Yeah, they left. Alright, we got a Mori, and we got a kill, so... Oh, and they... How, what a nice little present! The hatch, too! But yeah, this is the Ringo Killer Sadako, the Onryo. She's very fun. As I said, she's kind of very basic. But look, I can teleport out of TVs. Now, this is the fun part is that you seeing it from the survivor side is much more terrifying. So that's why I wanted to show you both POVs, the killer and the survivor. Let's give everybody a GG. And let's see, we had Soul Guard. Iron Will, Borrowed. Hopefully she was scary. Power Struggle. Mm, didn't even get to see the use of that. Diaz. She was terrifying. She was my kink. <laughs> She's freaky as fuck when you showed up <laughs> at the gym in the beginning. <laughs> Alright guys, that is the killer POV. Now we're going to go look at the survivor perks and I'll play one survivor game. So, hope you enjoyed this and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Alright guys, here is the survivor of the new chapter. It's Yoishi Asakawa. Uh, he is in the first movie, uh, the Ringu film, not obviously the American, the Japanese version. Because this is all based on the original book. Uh, he was a kid in the in the film, and he's basically grown up now. A lot of people want a Keiko, but I do like Yoichi as a choice. I uh, didn't even consider him, honestly, as a choice for Survivor. Plus, we this will be the first Asian uh, male character that we've had, so that would be nice, too. So, yeah, this is Yoichi, and Yoichi's perks are as follows. Boon Dark Theory. It's another Boon Totem. Uh, basically, you bless a dull totem to turn it into basically like a Survivor version of the Hex. And what he gives is he gives 2% haste. Uh, I think it's for four seconds, or, or well, if you leave it, it lasts for four seconds at rank three. But the two percent is stays regardless of the perk, because if you went any higher, so basically he gets a little bit of a speed boost. Uh, and then the other one is parental guidance. Uh, this one's probably going to be meta. After stunning a killer by any means, your scratch marks, uh, pools of blood, and grunts of pain are hidden for ten seconds at rank three. So basically, this is a combination of uh, dance with me. Um, What's the other one? Off the record, and then Iron Will together in one perk. So basically, this is like, you hit a stun on somebody, if you stun a killer, you can run away for 10 seconds. They don't see your marks, they don't see your bloods, and they can't hear you. So it's very good at like getting away. So, uh, I really highly recommend this perk. And then the last perk that he has is, um, basically a reverse empathy, empathetic connection. Uh, your presence, I think that's supposed to be psychically spelled wrong though or psychically yeah that's right projects itself to those in danger uh so basically whenever a survivor gets injured they can see your aura so they can come to you this is really good with boons because they can see that you have a boon and they can see you're near the boon and they can come over there and you heal them 10 percent faster already so it's a very good like selfless perk where you want to like take care of your survivors uh not a huge fan of it but like i'm sure a lot of people will use it so, I mean, if you really just want to do that, you can just run Aftercare or Bond, and you can just see both of them. But yeah, anyways, those are his perks. Uh, what do I think? I think that basically this is the only one that's going to be very useful. The boon, in my opinion, isn't going to be used that often. Because, I mean, most boons aren't that overpowered. I think Circle of Healing is the only one that's overpowered right now. So yeah, those are his perks. Now we get to see the Survivor side against Samara or Sadako or the Onryo, however you want to call her. So I'm going to queue up for a match. It should be almost instant. Or I can just not have a connection, and I'll have to restart. There we go. <laughs> uh, I will bring in... Um, do I? Can I get a flashlight by chance? Because I'm really good with... I like flashlights. Um, no flashlight.
But yeah, see how quick that was? Like, I queued in, like, it took me like 20, 25 minutes with uh, the Onrios, with the killer. All right, well, we have Hex Haunted Pussy and Hex Do I Fart, Do, Do It Fart. So this should be a good match. I'm excited for that one. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, this is Dead by Daylight, guys. Gotta love the uh, unique names. Uh, I'm trying to get a flashlight just because I feel more safe at flat with flashlights. I did bring Dead Hard because Dead Hard is broken as fuck. Um, all right, so we'll just run. So I'm gonna run. Obviously, I'm not. I don't even have a fourth perk unlocked with him because I played Killer more than Survivor. So I'm running Boon Dark Theory. Should I run that? Do I have Kindred? Yeah. Uh, let's run. Yeah, I'll run it. I'll run it just because it's it is haste and um, but I don't really boon totems but we'll do it. So I'll run dark theory, dead hard because dead hard is dead hard, and parental guidance. Uh, I didn't even bring any add-ons. Uh, good luck, have fun. <laughs> oh my god, haunted hex haunted pussy. <laughs> Maybe they're just talking about their cat. They're just talking. Their cat's haunting them. You know they've got a big problem and they need to call a you know paranormal you know investigator to get them out of the house. That's all it is. That's all it is. All right, guys, we are at the Mount Ormond Resort. This is actually a good, like, map for Sadako because she's already white. Did she bring a Mori? No Mori. All right, so let's see what it's like to play on the survivor side against Samara. We can already see there's a TV here, so we know we are going off against Sadako. I don't know if I'm going to start calling her Sadako or Samara. Just because, you know. Are we getting her right off the bat? I don't know. Kind of worried. She can show up at any moment without me hearing her. She pallet behind me, so I do feel safe at this. Ooh, what was that? Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus Christ! That fucking got me! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was actually terrifying. Alright, what you got? Fuck me! That was actually good. Oh, she didn't even buy my bait. Like, I was going to double back. She didn't even double back. Are you going to body block for me? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. She wants my butt. She wants my butt. Where'd she go? Ah! <laughs> she's so creepy to go against. Look how she's walking, dude. Oh, my God. Okay, she switched. I'm going to go ahead and boon this shit up. Oh my god, like, actually, I've already played against her and I've still, like, creeped out playing against her. Woo! Alright. <laughs> we survived her first chase against Sadako. <laughs> Will she come out that TV at the right time? Let me tell you. Alright, can we get something to heal with? Because I don't have blur Circle of Healing, I only have the, the haste. So she wanted that chase so bad and she went down so fast. Alright, we got a key. Cool. Hi. Can I get some heals? No? No healies? No healing? Okay. Alright. Thank you. Thank you, do it, fart. <laughs> These names, dude. Uh, Alright. So we can see that I have one stack of Condemned uh, on the left on the HUD there. And Ren and Haunted Pussy also has it. Uh, so if you get seven stacks, then you have to go basically do the tapes. Uh, the idea is to try and get it done before then, but you can also turn her TVs off so she can't teleport. I could have done that, but what's the fun in that? There's no fun in that. Like, I want to be scared in this game. Oh my god, they are just getting fucking wrecked. Alright. Well, we gotta pick one of them up. Is there gonna be a pallet save here? There is. No, there's not. Alright, she didn't go for that. Coming back, we'll get her up in time. No, we're not. <laughs> All right, let's go for the save. She's coming back. She's playing like a little scummy bag. How did that hit? All right, let's go back on this gin. I don't like being injured, but I wanted to like at least make the game possible we're down to three gens left uh, she hooked there is she coming this way oh kindred nice 
she is coming this way. No. No, ma'am. Did you break it? She did not. She just thought I was going to loop it. Which is what you're supposed to do, but... Oh, make your choice! I think make your choice could be really good on her, actually. Because... So she can teleport to the TVs, right? So you can make your choice, use that one perk that shows you the auras. And you know exactly where your make your choice target went. That's really strong. Alright. So I'm at two stacks of condemn now. So, so that my main thing about this killer right now is I feel like it takes you too long to get condemned. I know that if you get condemned, you are instantly killable and you can be removed from the game. But the threat level doesn't feel that strong because if you go and do a tape, it takes four away. So I feel like it should be okay to get condemned more often just because... Sorry, I have to pay, pay attention. Just because if you can remove it, right? Even if you get fully condemned, you can remove it. So... I feel like it needs to be more of a threat. That's the only my, my only complaint about her. I know that she's an M1 killer. She doesn't really have much anti-loop capability. She has some. But, um... Hi, Fang. Okay. So, Haunted... Haunted... Pusse is down. Are we gonna get this thing or not? Let's see. Does she have it? No. It would've went off already. Oh, well. Healing? Healing? No healing? Fang? Fang Min? Bang Min? I need heals? Alright. Oh fuck. She came out of TV somewhere. Oh fuck. Oh she's right there! Oh god! Oh Jesus! Alright. Dead hard to this pallet. Fuck! She double back! Last time she didn't double back! She's actually good at mind gaming. Oh she's so terrifying. Nice effort. So, so the first, she's basically, okay, so the first loop, she didn't double back, right? So I was like, okay, she doesn't double back, so I can just loop off the pallet the second time. But she did double back, so she's like changing it up, which is what you're supposed to do as killer. So she's actually pretty good at killer. She's not terrible. <laughs> so she got me. So next time, I'm going to not double back and see if she doubles back. Then we'll know how good she really is. Okay, Ren's out of the game. Ren is on her last loop. So, we have one gen left. I also looted a key so that I can actually get out of the hatch. Uh, they change keys, but I can get out of the hatch if she closes it at the end of the match. Woo! Hello. Borrow? No. She doesn't care. Says she knows. Are you booning this? Are we getting circle of healing? Because I would fucking love that right about now. Oh, Jesus. It is circle of healing. Alright, let's heal up. Hopefully she stays tunneled a little bit. So we can get this heal off. And I'm healing her first because... Yeah, I'm just nice. Plus, I like her name. Do it, fuck! Oh no, haunted pussy's down. I just feel so weird saying that. So, we basically lost. But, did we lose really? I think we all win when we go against this killer. Because this killer is badass. Love this killer. Alright, let's boon this one. Just so we can have circle healing and haste back to back. And I believe this gin's done though. Would you come out? Did you come out somewhere? I heard her do it. Okay. This gen's done, right? Yeah. Fuck. Do we three gen? All right. So I'm gonna play a little smart now, because I have a key. So if she dies, I can get the hatch, even if Sadako finds it. You know. Which is, I've never actually used the key since the key changes. All right. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, she's coming. She's coming to eat our asses. Come on, girl. 
Is there a tape here? It's right here. Let's go ahead and get that out. She can't teleport here now. So we're gonna go do the tape. That way we remove her tape capabilities. Okay. She just teleported to a TV. Fuck. I heard her for a second there. She's terrifying because you don't know where she's at at all times because her terror radius is off like half the time. Alright, let's turn this one off. Get rid of my condemned. See? Boom. Gone. No more condemned. That's what makes this killer weak in my opinion is you can just remove it so easily. I, this is the gen that I started on at the beginning of the match. Okay, that's on. But that's okay. Actually, we'll go ahead and take that. That way she can't teleport here. And you can hold the tape for a little bit without getting condemned. So she, so they're on uh, Fang Min. So I'm going to go ahead and try and work on this. And maybe she can run her for a while. We'll see. We also have aftercare on, so we know where each other is at all times. It's a great Jeff perk. We know she's being chased, and she's coming after me now. Okay, she just straight up broke it. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, she's gonna be on me for the rest of the match, probably. Fuck. I should've used that loop, but I didn't. Okay, she's still on me. Is the pallet here? Nope. Or I can just go down with dead heart in my- in my- <laughs> I literally hit it, but that's okay. Dead Hard wouldn't have done anything there anyway because I didn't have a pallet to go to, so it's fine. I should have steadied that one. It was really weak, that's why I left it. But it's okay! Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Maybe I should just kill myself so she can get the hatch. Um, I don't even see her. Uh, we'll, st we'll hold on for a little bit. She did get the gin done! So there is a chance, but is she going to save me is the question. Or she's being chased. She's definitely being chased. Alright, we'll give this, uh, we'll give this Fang Man a chance to live. Because she's not going to come after me anyway, so I'm going to let go. Alright. I don't think she's going to live, but, you know. God, this killer is terrifying. The very beginning where we were on that gin and she just come right out of the TV in front of me. Oh my god. That's like ingrained in my mind. That's all I took out of this match. That and her fucking making me scream like a little bitch. Alright, does Fang Man get away? She does. There's the hatch. Yay! Somebody survived. My sacrifice wasn't in vain. Alright, barbecue kips. Barbecue kips. GG. That beginning, when you came out of the TV, it got me. <laughs> it definitely got me. Oh, this killer is so fucking creepy. I just hope they buff her a little bit because she is a little on the weak side. But her creep factor is definitely dialed up to the top. But yeah, that's it, guys. That is it for this video. This is the new PTB chapter, uh, the Ringu chapter, which will come out on March 8th. If you want to check it out, you can. Uh, that is all I've got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed the Mori. I hope you guys enjoyed the new killer. I think the survivor side showed a lot more of how scary she can actually be to go against. So yeah, uh, if you guys want any more Dead by Daylight, let me know. I will definitely try and post more as soon as I can. And I will see you guys on the other side. Take care. Have a good one.